What's up guys? So today this video is going to be about Android 10, which is the latest software version that Google has uh, released and it's available for all of the Pixel phones. It's not available yet for the other uh, Samsung phones or other Android phones. And um, what we're going to talk about is a lot of the problems that people have been experiencing with the Android 10 version. Um, first off, like when the company pushes an update that's supposed to, you know, like benefit the user, it's supposed to help make your experience better with the phone or the device that you're using. So just some of the features that Android 10 was supposed to have is, for example, uh, they have a new share menu. The back button that I use religiously is actually gone on Android 10. So thank God that I don't have a Pixel phone right now. Thank God that it's not available on my phone, which is the S10 Plus. Um, another thing is you're supposed to obviously have some new theming options and foldable phones are supported for this update, things like that, right? Now, um, the issue with the Android 10 update on the Pixel phone that people are experiencing is actually pretty big. I don't know who, who, who allowed the update to be released, to be honest, because it's kind of messed up. So the first thing is first. People obviously who have the Pixel phone have been updating to Android 10. And um, one of the things that a lot of people are reporting is that when they did the update, they would get stuck on the boot screen. It would either like freeze or take super long, even hours to install the update and to be able to use their phone again. So that off the jump right there is probably a big issue. It's probably a big enough issue to piss a lot of people off for upgrading. But um, it gets better than that. So if your phone didn't freeze on the boot screen and you're actually able to get into the phone, you're going to encounter a whole another bunch of new problems that people are reporting as well. So um, some of the things that people have been saying is that once they were able to actually log into their phone after like a super long wait time to install Android 10 onto their phones is um, a lot of features don't seem to be working anymore. So some of the features is auto rotation, for example, doesn't seem to work. Auto brightness doesn't seem to work. Uh, the double tap to wake option doesn't seem to work. Uh, active edge doesn't seem to work. And uh, basically all the sensor functionality on the phone seems to have gone awry, it doesn't work anymore. Now, I'm sure that's not what Google was intending to do. I'm sure that wasn't their point, obviously, because we need sensors on our phone for certain things like the health apps and stuff like that, right? But um, my question is, there's no way to fix this right now. So obviously, the only way to fix it is Google. This this was supposed to be their final version of uh, Android 10. So the only way they can fix it really is to do another version, do another update. But my question is, why would they even release this update? Like, who tested this? Who approved this to be released onto the phones? because that doesn't seem very good for the consumer. It's pissing a lot of people off. And um, a lot of people, unfortunately, once they update to Android 10, especially if it's a newer phone, it's gonna be super hard to downgrade because you guys know how it is now. Once you upgrade to a newer version, the phones more or less limit you to downgrading unless you're able to root your phone and you know what you're doing and you're able to get past the bootloader, like lock and all of that stuff, right? So, um, yeah, that's what I just wanted to talk to you guys about. That's my rant of the day. Um, just want to know what you guys think about it. Do you think this was a smart move by Google? Do you think that they just released it just to mess with people who have a Pixel phone? Because it's not available on the other Android phones. So, I mean, I really don't know what's going on with that situation. Hopefully, it'll be fixed soon. One thing I'm going to say is if you have a Pixel phone and you haven't updated to Android 10 yet, Please, 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 please don't update to Android 10 yet until they fix these issues because you guys are going to run into a lot of problems. You're probably going to want to smash your phone into a building. And if you have the auto update option available on your phone, turn that off right now until this issue gets resolved. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know um, if you're going to be getting Android 10 or not. And uh, make sure you guys sub for more videos like this. All right. Peace.